Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to show you how to install the PS3 emulator. Uh, myself, I am going to use an older version of the emulator because I play college football revamped and a couple other games that I like to use the older version of the emulator for. I will show you how to do that shortly. All the sites I show you will be linked in the description in order to how I run them in the video. This video will be just about the PS3 emulator, not how to add the games or anything. I will make another video for that. I also have other videos on my channel about that already for the college football revamped. I'm looking at the Madden 25 mod right now. We'll be trying it too. So those of you who are here just for the PS3 emulator installation, here we go. First, you want to start out downloading 7-zip. I will have the link description or in the description of the video. If you got 64 bit, you want the first one, 32 bit, you want this one. More than likely, everyone's going to have 62 bit. So we're going to go ahead and download that. Let that download in the background. We'll come back and move that in a second. We're going to go ahead and move over to the emulator website. Now here this link I'll have will bring you right to the download section. First and most important, if you don't have Visual C++ and you're not sure if you don't have it, install this. I don't need to do it in this video. If you're having problems, go back and install the Visual C++ 2019 redistributable and that will help you. Now, if you're going to do a fresh build, you want to go ahead and download right here for Windows or this is the other operating systems. I'm going to look for a previous build. I know exactly which one I want. You guys that are watching this to do the football or college football revamped, I suggest to use this one because it shows it in game as being able to run better. So I know on mine. I want the date of 6-21-2021 and I want version 12409. So I just have to find the date. Takes a while. We're going to probably be about 13 or so over. Okay, 6-28-2021. So we want 621. So this is probably our right section here. So if you want to use the one I'm using, go to section 33, I believe it was. And 621.21, click on the Windows icon here, right here, 12409. So now we have it loaded down on the bottom of the window. So that's three of the files we need. Now we need to get the PS3 software update or the firmware it'll be called. You want to go ahead and go to this site that I'll have linked. You want to come down here to use a computer. You want to come down to right here on the download PS3 update and right click it and put save link as. Now you'll find a spot where you want it. I'm just going to put mine on the desktop for now so I know where it's at. So now if you have an issue with it not downloading, I have a video that I will tag in here that shows you how to do it on both the Windows browser. You can so my video will show you how to do it on both. So what you want to come down here is click on the arrow and put keep. That'll download it. So now we have we have 7 zip, the emulator, the version we want of the emulator, and we have the PS3 update. So that's on our desk. On our desktop so let's go in here to our folder we have the 7-zip and the rspc3 first we need to down install 7-zip so we can unzip this one so let's go ahead and click on that install it wherever you want it i'm putting mine on the c now all we have to do is come back up here right click this I'm on Windows 11, so I have to show more op options. So I'm going to extract the files. And I already have an emulator folder on my desktop. 
So all I have to do is come over here and decide where I want the folder. We're going to go ahead and go down to our PS3 emulator and click OK and we're going to unzip our files there. Okay, so now we should have everything taken care of. When we go back to our desktop, we have our firmware file. Now, uh, sometimes I like to use an older version of the firmware too, like 4.87. This will be 4.89 here. I went ahead and saved my versions of the game I had on here already. So now when we go into the emulator, our folder is in here. And this is the RSP3 emulator right here where you would launch it. So we would open this up, go ahead and launch it, bring up the emulator. The first time you get it, you're going to get this warning here that you've read the quick start guide. And don't show it again if you don't want to see it again. Just hit continue. That'll open up the emulator. This means I loaded an older version. This is always going to ask me right here if I want another version or the update, which I do not. I always say no. Now we need to bring in our firmware. We know we have our firmware on the desktop. All right, so all we have left to do now to finish the installation is to stick our PS3 update file, which is our firmware, into the PS3 and then let it update. I don't know why that's saying it's from OneDrive, but it should work anyway. Then you just let that do its thing and you should have the PS3 emulator ready to go now I will go ahead and add a game when this is done now if you want to add a game to the emulator you have to have a copy of the game I'm not going to show you in this video how to, to uh, burn your disc or to take it off your PS3 but here's uh, what the game files look like after you take them off the PS3 you'll have the disc folder the update file and the game file those three have to be in there and for the emulator to work it has to be named correctly so you'll have to make sure you do that correctly we're gonna go ahead and go in here to our emulator folder and we want to find dev hdde hddo open it up go into disk and we'll go ahead and put a copy of our game in here copy and uh, paste i'm getting used to windows 11 here All right, now when we refresh, we should have this in here. We'll go ahead, since I'm going to put this in anyway, we'll go ahead and copy our other game in here. By using the older version, I have a playable version of College Football Revamped and a playable version of this uh, PFB football game that's a mod of the Madden 25 that I'm just starting to play around with. That's how you update the emulator or how you install it using an older version so i'm going to end the video there i appreciate you guys watching the video i hope this helped if you need any help further hit me up in the comments section or on my twitter you can direct message me there or on facebook